Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cade Plays RimWorld. Now, in this fine episode, I have got a treat, and that treat is that I acquired a new mod. And what I picked up was a dog set, which is a prosthetics and bionics expansion for Ra's bionics and surgery expansion, RBSE. Uh, which will, after some research in animal prosthetics and animal bionics, allow me to create a bionic jaw for our as yet unnamed, but soon to be named, Wolfo. <laughs> so I am pretty excited about that. There is also another large harvest of rice that is about to come in, and I note that I am direly lacking on freezer space. And I'm thinking in order to effectively expand that, as well as expanding our pantry, I may have to move these generators. I'm thinking of moving them to here. But that will necessitate moving all these graves. And what I think I'm going to do with these graves is I'm going to empty them all out. I'm going to take all the corpses. I'm going to pile up all of the corpses. And then I'm going to set the corpses on fire so that they burn and go away. I feel like that will be a much more space-saving uh, response, because as much as it's nice to have a row, row of graves that I can show off to passers-by as they pass through the colony and be like, hey, check out all these people I killed and don't be an asshole while you're here, ultimately, function must come before form. And regrettably, that will necessitate the emptiment of these graves. I'm going to set these all to... I'm going to set these all to deconstruct, because that will kick the bodies out as they go. So that is what I'm going to do. Fernandez, you should be you should be going to your animatry spot. There you go, lad. Sometimes you just got to force them to reconsider things. It's okay. It is raining. Everything is fine. Happy. Happy. Just, just be cool. Oh, Jet and her black cape and berry, looking all fancy. Still super happy with that, just looks so good, man. Alright, we are working pretty well on medicine creation. That is going... That is going swimming lair. And I actually think what I might do here is build a copy of this shelf to go maybe there. Uh, and allow, or or possibly up in back or along this back wall, somewhere else, so I can keep the. Oh, cold snap! Oh, let's not, not cool with that. Really, not actually cool with that at all. Well, I think Rissa has started moving these corpses, so that's good. Anybody want to help her there, or are we just all going to let Rissa be the body holder? Come on, pile them up. Now, I'm not actually going to go ahead and burn them just yet, because I'm still concerned that this is made out of wood and right there. So that can wait for just a moment. Um, but that is ultimately what their fate is going to be. Their fate will be fire. Alright, yeah, now okay, Happy's helping out. That's cool. And we've run out of freezer space. Majestic. Benico being my backup grower. Everything going just spectacularly well. At some point soon I should also research packaged survival meals. Because that is a great thing to do in times like this when there is like an overstock of food. Is start squirreling it away in the form of packaged survival meals. Alright, Jackson, you are on fire. That is not optimal. I would love it if you would be less on fire than you currently are. Stop, drop, and roll, dude. Stop, drop, and roll. Jackson! Jackson! You're, you're way down here. Who's... Uh, uh, Fernandez, you're stone Go. No, wait, you're slow as shit. Uh, Arissa. Can I, can I send you to... No, Jackson, you went out. 
Okay, lovely. Oh, oh, he got... Okay, so not... Not hellishly burned. So there is that. Someone gonna go tend to him. Rice plant has died because of cold. Well, that's good. Fernandez, you're gonna go tend to Jackson. All right. Ah, oh, this cold snap is wrecking my crops. No. All right. Well, I mean, luckily I'm I'm kind of in the overs on food. So, uh Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, at least this stuff is technically frozen and won't spoil. Um, Fernandez, are you at your... You're meditating at the anima tree. Quest available. Killer beasts. Alright, what do we got here? <clears throat> Romanos Acominata. A knight of the Exodus Empire recently lost a scouting party to a pack of eight man-hunting lynx. He wants to draw the beasts towards you to be killed to uphold his honor. Two cataphracts will be placed under your control. You will have to feed and house them, but they may die in battle without consequence. The lynx will arrive in Wentworth 19 hours after you accept. With this cold snap going, I'm not sure I'm cool with this. But that's six honor and... Solar Pinhole and Burden. Burden is actually pretty useful. I'm not wholly opposed to that. Are you cold? You're chilly. Okay. Alright, Jackson, you have recovered from your burns. Do you have any, like, uh, lasting burn scars? Or... Nope, you're okay. Ah! Some manhunting lynx. Do we engage with that craziness? Do we do it? Do we do it? Oh, like, even even indoors with all the heaters running, it's barely keeping up with the warmth. Ay, 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 ay. The smoke leaf, the potatoes. I'm wondering if we might be able to get to the potatoes or some of this rice before the cold snap, like, murders it. Wow, it is. It, that's a rough blizzard. Oh, did we run out of sp did we run out of space in the in the body dumping yard? We did. Okay, let's expand that out a little more. All right, keep pulling. Put him up. Put him up. Get him out of the way. So my plan right now is to move uh, some of this stuff. I'm thinking maybe to move the generators down against this wall and store them there. Let's see, how long have I got? Expires in 1.2 days. If this cold snap keeps up, I'm not about to take that quest. And that kind of sucks cuz I do want to take it. But I just I can't have my people standing around like Mick is just laying down in the snow. I mean, have a good time, I guess, right? Why not? Oh yeah, we got all that synthrid. Components. We are running low on components. I'm not gonna send anybody out mining components in this weather. But it is something that is gonna want to be done before too long. Fernandez, you are still only chilly, so... We're okay with that. You're also high, so... I guess that's basically fine. Quest expires. I, d I don't know what to do about that. I just... 
I want to, I want to, you know, get out there and 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 fight some man hunting lynxes with the assistance of a couple of cataphracts, you know. But uh, at the same time, I don't want to have all my people hanging out in the dead ass cold. Although it seems to me like Fernandez is basically the only one who's feeling. Uh, any, like, serious kind of cold, and that's because he's wearing a flak jacket instead of, like, a... instead of, like, winter clothing. Everybody else is wearing, you know, better clothes. And has, uh... Damn it, that transhumanist thing's still bugging me, man. Um, yeah, everybody else has something that they are kind of able to take care of. Happy? What is your what is your health condition? Oh, it, it's it's asthma, right? Okay, sure. You're gonna be okay, man. I just really wish we wouldn't be using the good medicine for these kind of tasks. All right, let's build a let's let's build some more shelves here, and we are gonna we are gonna store. More, uh... Alright, now I gotta get to these before anybody starts putting dumb stuff on them. Wooden shelf. Copy settings. Pay settings. Pay settings. So you can store medicine. And you can definitely store herbal medicine on these. I am also gonna let you store neutroamine on these as well. So there is that. So, yep, 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 let's get all that moving. Let's get some herbal moving. Alright, that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good hospital setup. Like, I'm, I'm liking how this is going. Oh, who's having a party? Zillard. Oh, everybody still isn't gonna like you. The cold snap is over. The cold snap is over. Do we do this? Do we do this? I think we should. I think I will. Cataphract sent by Romanos. Alright, Lostro and Tiberius. You come with a charge lance and a charge rifle. You don't have melee weapons, which is mildly concerning to me. Oh, and I can't change your equipment because you're temporary faction members. Oh, Le Donk. Good day to you, Le Donk. How does this day find you? Is it donkful? Alright, you guys can go on the end because you're temporaries. Alright, alright. Where is everyone? Rissa. Jet. Jackson. Fernandez. Sillard. Mick. Happy. Benico. Alright. Everyone is inside. Are the animals inside? Felicia and Wolfo, you guys are inside. I'm gonna need you guys to stay in this in this inside area. Do you know what? I feel like I can expand this to like actually everything inside the walls. I am gonna do that real quick. Zone uh Expand allowed area inside. So that is going to range everywhere from here to here and then here. Like, I just don't like the idea of them opening a door because they like decide they want to wander onto the door tile or whatever. The pit. The as-yet-unused pit. I haven't taken any prisoners. Which is extremely unusual for me. We will get to that, though, I am certain, before too long. So now I'm going to set you guys to inside. So you can wander around as long as you are anywhere inside the walls. And then whenever these man-hunting lynxes come, we will deal with those when they get here. I'm kind of excited. 
I almost want to speed up, but I'm kind of concerned that like someone's gonna go off on a little quest while that happens and get jumped. So I'm like fully keeping an eye on everybody here. A meteorite of marble. That's kind of interesting. Marble's non-native to this map, so that's cool. And I might be able to make like some uh, some rad artwork or something out of that. Oh, look at this. Everybody's talking now. I don't know if maybe they, the the um, the party just had them populate like so many interactions for a second, and that just it didn't show me them because I was like zoomed a little too far out. Where are all of the lynxes? Link lynxen. Okay, buddy, you need to not try and go to your anima tree right now. I'm so sorry. I hate to have to tell you this. But, this is just how it's going to be for now. Because there is about to be a serious Lynx problem. Tiberius, you have got yourself a bedroom up in there. Where's the other one? Tiberius is there, Lostro is here. Oh, I guess I had two open bedrooms. Oh, well, that's right, I had... Uh... I had one, and then I moved Jet over here, so I had two open bedrooms. Alright, that works out perfectly fine. So where... Oh, where... Are these links? 19 hours, accepted. So I've got 10 hours before the links are due. I guess, Fernandez, you can go outside for now. If you really have to. But I would really, really, really rather keep an eye on you guys. Alright, male psychic soothe. I can deal with that. That means everybody will be in a good mood whenever the links turn up. Oh, we got visitors from the Red Dove Kamba. I sure hope they don't get caught up in a war between me and an awful lot of lynxes. Although I honestly feel like we should be able to take care of lynxes, sort of in general. I'm mostly keeping an eye on, like, Fernandez, who's here, and Jackson to make sure he doesn't go wandering off. Because in a couple hours, when those little bastards turn up, we're gonna have trouble. They See, there he goes. There he goes. Not right now, man. Right now, you are going to stay inside. Jet, right now, you are not going to go... Alright, if you're just going to go grab a chunk and then run back, that's fine. Don't make a habit of it. But I also feel like I need to just suspend this bill for right now. You can get to that when you can get to that. And you don't need to get to that right now. We do have a lot of blocks. Here we go! Here we go. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? They are coming from... Oh! Yep. Alright, so they are coming from this side. So... Tiberius... And Lostro... Along with... Fernandez, you're going to go back row. Jet. Jet, you're going to go here. Jackson, you're going to go here. Sillard, up on the end here. Mick. I guess, like, here is fine. And Happy, back up here. See, there's no, there's no real need to take cover, though. Because they're all going to be melee, right? Because they are links, is links and LinkedIn. Um, so it's just going to be a case of having Fernandez at the back, because I want him to stay out of the way. Alright, you can do it, you can do it. Guys, 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 go, 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 keep shooting, keep shooting. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Mick, get back. Back up. Back up. Back up. Alright. Cataphracts, good work. 
Mick, you are fine. Rissa, I guess I never pulled you out. Jet, that is your rifle. You pick that up whenever you are good and ready. Everybody, good work. That was a pretty successful defense. Mick, how badly are you hecked up? Death in 18 hours. You got scratched and bit. Nothing came off. I think we can all effectively call that a win. Those are not serious injuries. I am temporarily restricting you to lower grade medicine. Oh, I should probably check that setting for everybody. That's attack, attack, flee. No, attack. Basically, I want everybody by default to fight back. Yeah. Okay. With the exception of Benico, who should run away. And these two nutsacks, I don't even know who you are. All right, everybody can now be unrestricted. All the animals can now be unrestricted. Guess we'll set that to hunt so that someone will just go finish it off. The So these ones had Scaria, so they rot on death, but we are going to actually get quite a lot of meat out of this. So that is, that is fine. That is fine. Cool. Man, dude, everybody's in such a good mood. That Psychic Soothe is, is doing some serious work for us here. I'm pretty cool with that. Alright, we can unsuspend the bill. The visitors from the Red Dove Kamba. Glad you guys stopped by. Alright, pods arrived. Uh, wish you wouldn't just land on my crops like that. Okay, they don't damage crops. Great. So, Jackson has a useful power. Jet kind of doesn't. So, I'm going to have Jet take Solar Pinhole because Jackson already has it. Right? Right. And Jet has Chunk Skip and Neural Heat Dump. So if I have Jet learn Solar Pinhole and have Jackson learn Burden, I think that'll be kind of cool. Alright. Inject yourself in the eyeball with the weird stuff that gives you powers. Now, I don't know if you can actually cast Burden yet. Burden is level one. He totally can. All right, sweet. Cool. And then Jet knows solar pinholes, so... I mean, if there's another cold snap and I remember that I have such powers, um, those can be used to, like, warm an area temporarily or something like that. All right. We are just... We are in blocks. We are absolutely in blocks. So here's what's going to happen now. We are going to send someone for components. Number one, that is going to be something that I'm going to seriously need to address before very long. All right, go mine some components. Jet's Dame Ceremony. Um, we will take care of that in a day or two. But for right now, I seriously need these components. Are there any more components that I can easily get at? There's a lot of gold. Ah, here's quite a few. Lovely stuff. Mine those out. And then maybe also for the mining of... Uh, oh, these. Yep, that's good too. Outstanding. Pretty much like all the components I can find that are like surface level and easy to get at. I'm gonna grab... I am also going to continue strip mining this steel. I say, I mean, I'm not strip mining exactly, but very aggressively mining out that to capacity. How long have these got? You have got 8.4 days. You have got 2.8 days. I'm looking forward to being able to tear this down. I'm going to... See, I've got a lot of room to expand down this way. So that is, that is definitely something that should be a more serious consideration for me. 
Go, Fernandez, go. Are you mining slowly because you're stoned? You are so stoned. God, you suck at stuff when you're stoned. Ah, whatever. All right, Tiberius, did I... Did I... Armor skin gland. Oh, hello. What are you? Gives him just a bunch of armor just for existing. I takes 10% movement speed, makes him look a little less beautiful. That seems like a fair trade to me. I should look into that at some point. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. So I want Fernandez to be happy and everything, but he also gets way, way, way stoned and then is not great at the things. He is mining hellaciously slowly. And I kind of like it when he mines quite quickly. And that is ultimately a toss-up that I have got to address. Yep, his just... Whoa, 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 dude, dude, hold this first. Yes, thank you. All right. Great, great and good. So we are going to build some copies of these. We are going to build... We're actually... So it's generating 1,000 watts, and I'm excess 2,000 watts. So I'm going to build three. One, two, three. I built the extra two kind of because I suck. And then we are going to run some power cable over to these. Oh, no, they will actually be on grid already. Outstanding. And then... We are going to remove... These two. Ah, good lord. What, 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 what? Oh, no, 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 no. Someone get it. Someone, Mick. All right, thank you, Mick. Even though you are kind of shredded up a little bit, I am glad that you were able to get over there and take care of that swiftly. It is deeply, deeply appreciated. Such is your dedication. To the safety of Wentworth. Alright. And then I'm going to deconstruct this one. That is going to send us low power. But Jet is also going to work on... Powering up... Um, the new generators. Do you know what? Let's, let's actually just deconstruct all of this right now. And then we will work on the rest of it here in a minute. Like there. Lovely job. Alright. So we are currently excess storing 280 watts. Perfect. And we finished Bionics. Okay, okay, okay. Next thing is we are going to learn animal prosthetics. No question about it. We are also going to create... We are going to create a bionics workbench for which we need 50 plasteel. Alright. We'll get... <laughs> I guess we'll get to that then. But it's okay. We should be able to trade or dig for some of that kind of a stuff here sometime before too long. So bionics is, is almost within our within our grasp. At which point we can start replacing people's parts with super rad robo parts. And everything will be cool forever. I've decided what I'm going to call this wolf. Or rather, I guess I had this thought the other day and hadn't come to a full consensus on it and have now decided what I'm going to call this wolf. Wolfo, you are going to get a name. Or can I not, can I not name you directly? I could have sworn I could name him directly. Is it under log, social, training? Here, 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 here. Rename animal. All right, Arctic Wolf 1. Your name 
is going to be Murphy. There is a reason for this, and if anybody can figure out what that reason is, I will be very, very happy. And I will probably reveal it at some point in the future. But, uh... I'm just, uh, I'm just interested to see if anybody picks up on that. So, that is a, that is a little bit of fun for me to have with the series. Alright, so stuff is coming along, and in honor of that, I suppose we get a finishing shot of Jet sat upon the Jade Throne. And at the conclusion of that piece of guitar, I will say the easiest words that I ever have to say. Which are that I have been Cade, this has been RimWorld. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.